Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Some Asshole. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Then after you guys do that, and before that, check out my new Movies You Love, where I of course talk about, guess what, movies. When you get an opportunity, check out my brother's dance, and I think that you'll enjoy it. My beautiful wife, she made me a fantastic bowl of chili. It's terrible. Uh, <clears throat> well, somebody... <clears throat> somebody ended up uh, fucking me. <clears throat> the reason why I prefer raping your wife and children and insult the living hell out of them is a fantastic way to be able to communicate with people. And you can actually get up on video and attempt to take on the particular Brett Keen situation. I can't, as an individual who is famous, as an individual who is a celebrity, I can't post pictures of my family. I can't upload videos of my wife and children and people I care about because there are fucking monkeys out there who will grab a naked man who was being gangbanged by a bunch of monkeys and they were literally spewing all over me. <clears throat> I will make the money. And it's that simple. Just like if you were to go over and grab my brother's ass. I support people who are cyber bullies, cyber stalkers, trolls. And I rule over them all. I rule over the stupid bastards. Yes, it's true. I put my phone number out there. And I allow people to call me a nigger or a faggot. I don't fucking care. I've not had one single individual ever call me up and say that they're a fan of Brett Keen. So if you are claiming to be an individual and then you enjoy watching Brett Keen destroy or hurt people, then there must be something wrong with you and I don't want you in my fucking ass. And I don't give a fuck about fag, nigger. If you're too fucking stupid to know the difference between whores and cunts, then there's something wrong with you. Did you know that the particular atheist Sam Harris, he claims that there's over 3 million whores and cunts? Fuck that shit. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's say the drunken peasants decided to grab my brother's ass. There are predators out there, and they need to be dealt with. This is why I support extreme child fucking... Do you really want bananas and turnips crammed up your ass? No, you don't, because that can be quite painful. I have recently and violently and aggressively whoop up on my wife and make fun of the way she looks and the way she sounds by wearing women's clothing. It's what I do. I've been doing it for years. The reason why I prefer calling her names and treating her like shit, the woman knows, hey, this is a guy that's not going to put up with any bullshit. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, because I've already been told by the lawyer that I've got a great ass. I have to be honest with you, I go out and seek out young kids, black kids. I had to mess around with underage girls, teenagers, and, and kids of elementary. I don't know if many of you know this. Although I refer to myself as homosexual, if you want to serve God, then you're going to have to enjoy butt sex with another man. Or you're going to die. It's that simple. I think you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you've had sex with a woman, such as my grandmother, and then after harass, anally rape their family, Something inside of me always felt like I needed to be having sex with lesbians, transgenders, homosexuals, like a particular homosexual. I don't give a shit about none of these little 15-year-olds eating cheap-ass macaroni, most likely, or cheese. And the next thing I know, my wife takes my head and she puts my head in my brother's ass. This stupid Powerpuff monkey, Paul ego smells like piss. He's not a rational person. He's a nigger. Particular nigger. My anniversary's coming up with my wife. We have two wonderful children. Assholes. The one thing that is interesting about an asshole is that they're particular. If you were to do a search right now of my name, Brett Keen, 
you're going to find that there's billions and billions of individuals calling me the king of the manatee situation. Which means that I float around and shit and eat and offer really no kind of contribution to humanity whatsoever. I stated that I have become more bitter, enraged, aggravated, and get some kind of sick, twisted entertainment out of harassing and, and belittling the drunken peasants. That's right. All I have to do is treat people like shit, fuck them over, or screw with them. But that's the difference between me and most people. What the fuck? Whenever I was very small, um, very young, my mother and my father wanted to kick my ass. I had to get slapped on, pounded on, all over. This went on for a good six months and everything, and there was really nothing I could do. I was too young, too small. However, do you know how many different crimes I've committed towards women? I ended up becoming very fucking lazy. In fact, I get bored very quickly when I hear stupid stuff from people who have no idea what they're talking about. <coughs> so you get what I'm saying? I'm just too stupid. I couldn't do it. And I don't care. Peace. <laughs> Duval County, 904 in this bitch, huh? Put your hands up. Yeah, huh? You feel that bass? Turn it up. That dirty South Punk Rock, huh? Dirty South! When I reach for the herb, nigga, what's the word? Bitch, what's the word? Bitch, what's the word? Bitch, what's the word? Nigga better recognize real G down the ride. Dirty South, I'm a record And I ain't even got to tell her what my name is. Uh -huh. I just walk right in like I'm famous. Uh -huh. Get out the way, bitch. Uh -huh. I'm heading straight to the VIP. Well, I'ma drink everything for free. Damn right. You can get caught in the club. Right. Blow with your hood, throw it up in the club. Hey. Or you can get stomped in the club hey. for a dub and I stop. Shut it, we don't give a fuck. stuff come out again. Hello, hi, it's The Altered Perspective, episode 262, we're back again, I'm not gonna lie, I almost didn't do a show today, I'm, I, the allergies are kicking my ass right now, I'm not feeling my best, I've been sneezing and <laughs> sniffling and blowing my nose all day, not feeling too good, but I, I gotta do this and I got this goal, I would, I would be eternally grateful if you guys can help me reach this goal, I'm gonna keep it moving. 
I'm going to keep it moving, but hopefully you can you can help us out right there. There's the goal, uh, and the, the link is right there. We are going to check out what's going on with Jared. What's going on with Jared? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited because there's this new Jared bumper that I'm going to use as the intro for Jared videos now. It's kind of like a, a parody of the old Austin Powers bumper videos from the Austin Power movies. Here it is. All right. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, let's let's see. Uh, we're we're just gonna dive into it here. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> so we're gonna finish up some dragons, guys, and then I decided we're gonna go to Final Fantasy three. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the conclusion. Uh, it may be one or two more videos of dragons, but uh, yeah, we're almost at the end, so let's get into it. Boom. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the Cave of Wonders. It's my absolute favorite part of this game. Uh, you'll understand. Jared can't grow a beard longer than what he has now. He always... Uh... <laughs> He can't not fuck with things like cutting up his clothes and all that. So his beard, he, just like his hair, he will eventually have to cut it all or shave it all off. Dan why? Very soon. So <clears throat> this is not a system. This is a an emulator, a computer emulator. And I think the lighting's a web based emulator. Ah, eh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Sorry guys, if the lighting's not that great, who cares? The less you see in my face, the better, right? All right, here we go, guys. So, I believe we are off to the mines now. I had to talk to the guys. Uh, After yeah. for Sir John, stealing coal from he still doesn't know how to stop the echo, which is very sad. Fucking uh, Barney fight. Come on, get those canisters filled with coal. You guys know Andy Griffith. That's what they based that, that voice on. Um, I forgot his real name. Uh, Don Knotts. Ah, well. <laughs> I don't think most people even remember him these days, bro. To be honest with Don you. Knotts. Um, I think he was also in Three's Company, but he was. Holy shit! Speaking of Three's Company, man, Suzanne Somers. I she was try so that hot in that the fucking human show. <laughs> yeah, that's that was part of her character. She was like the hot blonde. Rest in peace. I don't mean to disrespect the dead, but man, she was a smoke show. Come on, get those canisters uh, filled with coal. Holy fuck, man. I'm not a chemist, but I think I can use it. <laughs> Alright, so we got some fucking... No. <laughs> Looks like some crystal meth. Awesome. We're off to a great start, guys. And let's talk to this little birdie here. Hello, little fellow. Mm. Hello yourself. Did I wake you up? It's not you. I didn't get much sleep last night. How's the gas situation? I take it you mean here in the mine? Everything's fine. Although every once in a while I act like I'm in a faint just to throw a scare into these guys. A little job security? A bird's gotta eat. So yeah, they used to have canaries in mines, and I guess like if it died, <laughs> that would mean there's gas in the mine. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Look for. These are these are like the few games Jared can play because it's a point and click adventure game. And if you know what to do, if you memorize what to do or you look it up, uh like a walkthrough, there's no way you can lose the game. Like th there's no skill involved other than like p problem solving, I guess. Puzzle solving. Say George, but not directly. I subcontract. I heard he doesn't pay well. I managed to take care of the bells. Hurry. Why don't you grab some shots on I'll cover for you. I need some time to think about it. I am a bait brain, you know. I'll leave you to your work. Alright, so. 
and give him. I enjoy I enjoy these games too. Uh, you know, I remember before the internet when I would play these kind of games, I'd be stuck in a place for like months. And then one day I just like figure it out. They used to have uh, tip lines that you could call, but then that would cost money. You had to pay by the minute for Some, that. Um, let's see here. Ah, oh, dash it all. I forgot to grab the comics. Not to do that now. You gotta grab the comics uh, that guy was reading, what you did the dance off with. See, he can't even remember. But oh, wait. He, sucks, on, he wait. sucks at this game because he can't even remember. No, no, no. I don't think it's that. Because I use that for the pros. I think I have to go back to the castle. Yep. Gotta go back to the castle. But let's just give these monks some more prune juice, shall we? Please like the stream, by the way, guys. I forgot to mention that. Please give the stream a big fat like. Thank you. All the spice Jared's done. I love this shit, man. Why does this dinosaur guy have four legs, but then human-like arms? That's very strange. Like a like a dinosaur body, but then a human torso with arms. Go, go. Oh, they didn't get him that time. Hold on, one more time. Not worth carrying. Let's see if we can make him get the shits. No? Okay, one more time. This has to do it. Yeet. Got us. In the oh, to ply sanctum. <laughs> to ply sanctum. Amazing. Sphinctus. I guess it's like sphincter, right? Your butthole. Anyways, I love this game. God damn it. <laughs> your rectum is your butthole. Your sphincter is like, I believe, is like the muscle that contracts your butthole, I think. I don't know. I'm not a proctologist, but that's what I thought. Such an overlooked game. Um, all right, so back to the castle. And... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if I really care to even get into this, but yeah, my Discord's gone, guys. Uh, the stupid trolls, you know. They oh, it's the trolls' fault. Scared off all the good people, like they always do, because they're just fucking no life losers. So, I'll let you guys know when I make another one. I just have to starve some bitches out, which shouldn't take too long because they're already on their last legs. That's all I'm gonna say about those losers. There's, <laughs> there's really nothing else worth worth saying about these idiots. So, um, <clears throat> you figure out where to get the comics here. Uh, where do I get the stupid comics? Let's see. Do I have them? No, I don't have them. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, maybe it was in... Hold on. Uh, maybe it was in my room... Wow, I didn't figure I'd get stuck today. But, um... Ha <laughs> ha! How can you get stuck in these games? How can you get stuck? There's... You can't lose if you know what to do. Oh, well. I'm old, guys. You'll have to forgive me, dude. I forget shit every day. It just comes with the territory, guys. You know, I'm just... I have to face facts. I'm not young anymore, bro. I'm getting older, son. And that's okay. You know, who really gives a shit anyway? <laughs> We're all probably gonna die soon anyway. I'm sorry. I was just watching some George Carlin. A friend showed me a uh, shout out to Skip Tracer. He's a real one. He was showing me some uh, George Carlin. That guy was so great, man. Um, ah, that guy was so great. Too real for his time. He shit on religion a lot. Anyway, but... I'm supposed to give the birdie some comics. 
I just forgot where they are. Um, I might have to go into the strategy guide. But let's just see. Hold on now. Uh, comics. Stupid comics. Uh, I could have sworn they were in the king's room. Yeah, dude, I could have freaking sworn they were in there. Because I don't know where the hell else they would be. Um, don't think they're in there. You know what, guys, actually, if they're not in the king's room, I'm just going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> call it quits for today. <laughs> because I don't want to have to make you guys sit there and wait while I look at a stupid strategy guide, but <laughs> it's fine. Whatever, dude. God, that's so strange. I could have sworn it was here, bro. Like, on my life, homie. Um, God, that is so weird. Maybe I used those... Oh, wait, I did have it. Oh my God, it I'm such a King retard, bro. Coronation speech. <laughs> Half the subjects who I just didn't see it. I apologize, guys. Um, <laughs> fuck it, bro. Whatever. Let's just continue on. Come on! Get those canisters filled with coal! Come on! Let me just check to see what time we're at here. Let us see, let us see. Probably around 10. Yeah, about 9 minutes. Alright, so we'll at least maybe make it to the Cable Wanders, but... I do apologize for that minor setback, guys. How about a magazine to keep you occupied? Hmm. Now that's a splendid idea. Would you mind holding it open for me? It would be my pleasure. Oh, let's see here. I do oh, not yes. believe he washes that you mug. You exploit subject, blah, blah, blah. It's truly an honor. <laughs> yawn, blah, blah, blah. And then when I turn five, yawn, blah, blah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was in the king's room. <laughs> All right, so now I can get the pick. I can pick and choose with this. I can pick and choose with this axe. Oh, that Rav. was terrible. Let me get one of these jars. And we're out of here. I do like the music. It's kind of circusy. All right, so now we'll go back to these guys. And have a little run in with the fucking uh, dance off boy. Let's get to the bottom of this. Made some cornbread today, bro. It's pretty killer, bro. I put some blueberries in it. Step two, three, four. Up on post. Heal. This is how we that big. I don't want to know why he's wearing a goddamn dress, but you know what? That's his own business, homie. So I ain't gonna to question it. Let's help this fool out. Not you again. Alright. I'd have to get a little I'm climb. Hey, what are you doing? You ruined everything! Now we use the pick. Oh, and now we got a baseball bat. Dumb dragon, you make me angry! <laughs> Alright. Well, I've got what I need, and speaking to you as a friend, you've really got to work on your attitude problem. And that goes for all my stupid trolls. <laughs> all my snowflake trolls, dude. Get some anger management. Because you guys are fucking whack. Just like crack. And you all smoke crack. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Anyways, guys. 
Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably just gonna do another playthrough here in a few minutes. So huh? I'm gonna give you guys two playthroughs today. That didn't happen. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Genesis <laughs> gives. I'm doing it for you. He always does this. He acts like he's doing a favor. He's like, I'm gonna play this game for you guys. It's like nobody wants to watch you play this shit. Hey, make that white stuff come out again. What do we got here? He's got Netflix, Deviant Art, Final Fantasy, Discord, two YouTube windows, a Gmail inbox, some kind of chat. I'm not sure what that is. YouTube, Plenty of Fish, the dating site, G Chats. I'm not sure what that is. The Genesis takes away. Um, <laughs> that was actually pretty blasphemous. Forgive me, Lord, but... <laughs> 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 it's true though i do give you guys content and i also take away i don't know bro um <laughs> take away girl subscribers because i gross them out we'll just go with that <laughs> anyways y'all um listen man i know my channel's still growing it's my not my trolls know they're not gonna stop me um i may not have a discord right now but I'll tell you guys something. You deleted your own Discord because you, you're a paranoid fuck. Dude, I made some really cool friends um, just a few days ago meeting some new people. I don't regret it. It still benefited my life. I wonder who these so people thank are. thank you, asshole trolls, for helping me you know, get in touch with some really cool people that I'm now talking to on DMs. You guys help get me new followers, new people I can reach out to. So you can eat my fucking ass. Hey. hey. <laughs> That's some you sicko know? talk, Jared. It is what it is, guys. We'll get there. But just bear with me. I'm not turning the comments back on on my YouTube because I'm tired of giving these autistic retards a voice and letting them spill their autism on me. I'm just tired of it, bro. And, um, you know, you guys can reach me at Gab, at Mines, at Rumble. Bitch, shoot, all that shit is linked in my YouTube bio if you want to reach out to me. Um, you can also add me as a friend on Discord. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'm not really expecting any more people to add me on there, but I'm just saying if you do want to hang out with your boy, don't be shy. You know, send me a friend request and I will surely answer it. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next playthrough. Later. Oh, my God, Jared. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to play it every time I play a new Jared video. This is called If People Could Only Talk Using Magic the Gathering Arena Chat Bubbles. And then he marked it as a short. But this isn't a short because it's... It's horizontal, and shorts are all vertical. So you can't even make a short, Jared. You don't even know how to make a short. Ah, uh, good game. Nice, nice. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, your go. Your go, your go, your go. Good game, okay. Discord. Um, good game, good game. Thinking... Uh, thinking, 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 good game, good game, thinking, nice, 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 good game, nice thinking, nice thinking, nice, your go, your go, nice, your go, thinking, your go, good game, good game, ice, angry jelly roll, oh, okay, great. That was amazing, Jared. Thank you. Uh, let's see what this is. This is this is Jared's latest video about angry video game nerd, I guess. He's going back to that one. So let's see. What's going on, guys? It's Genesis here. So, um, <laughs> yeah, bro, we're still talking about James, okay? I'll admit I feel stupid about it myself, and uh, I feel like a fucking grifter. Like Camel Toe 331. But I just wanted to explain something that I feel like I sort of learned when I was with uh, the Cinemassacre Truth. Which, by the way, I, uh, <laughs> I ran into a lot of bozos on there, bro. I really hate Reddit to begin with. 
So I no longer subscribe to that bullshit. Uh, they can go honestly fuck themselves for the most part. <laughs> but they are still right on a lot of stuff. It's just, it's still Reddit cringe, and I try to avoid toxic sites like that. But <clears throat> So, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this, shall we? Uh, okay. Fucking John. Which, by the way, he <laughs> he sure as hell ain't no T-bone steak. He's a fucking uh, soy patty. You know what I'm a saying? A soy uh, patty. Sorry, guys. I'm getting shit situated here. Um, James should do a fucking commercial for, like, soy patties since he did that Soylent Green crap. He can have John with him, bro, because they're both fucking soy boys. And I'm out of water. Fuck me. Um, just had some delicious fucking turkey meat, bro. Fucking, um... Oh, I am full, man. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You're always full. Your stomach is at full capacity constantly. I should not make videos when I'm this full. Um, you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> fucking ground turkey. My parents, they won't get the fucking red meat, dude. Uh, camel toe? He's talking about Camelot 331. I love red meat better, but you know what? Turkey is almost as good. And I'll tell you something else. <laughs> you still have way more dignity eating turkey than you would fucking soy meat. I'll tell you that much, bitch. Soy meat? Is he talking about like Beyond Burgers or whatever? I never liked that either. If I want to eat meat, I'll eat meat. If I don't want to eat meat, I'll eat something that's not pretending to be meat. I don't need to eat pretend meat. I cannot stand John. I really don't like the guy. I'm not going to say I hate him, but he's just annoying as fuck. Especially his stupid fucking hyena laugh. Good lord. I thought Mike was annoying with his laugh, you know. <laughs> he's... John takes it to a whole nother level. But anyways, guys, um, <laughs> basically it's this. Um, I think James was actually going to quit. I do. I really do think he was at that point where maybe he was actually going to quit Cinemassacre. Because let's just face it, guys. A lot of people think he's a joke now. You know, I know he deals with a lot of crap. And I'd be willing to bet that he has had a few breaking points. Um, <clears throat> apparently, John has known this guy his whole life. Uh, I've seen the quote-unquote old videos. It's hard to make it out because it was so long ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're both in their fucking 40s. You know, and you look really different when you're a kid compared to that. So, I don't really know if it was John. I'm just going to go ahead and believe it for the... All of his videos are just him projecting. He's he's constantly projecting. Fuck of it. But it's, it's basically this, man. It's very strange that we never heard about John this whole fucking time. You know, almost... What has it been? Yeah, nearly like 20 you years just now. Drive down to Jared's house and call him out to a fight in a redneck way. That way his pride won't let him say no and Egghead can get his rocks off. <laughs> that would be interesting, but I mean, there's a chance Egghead would get arrested. I don't know. I don't know how that would go. And can Egghead fight? Like, I'm not saying Jared is a kung fu master, but... I'd like to see how they stack up in size next to each other. I don't know. Just because I like Egghead more doesn't mean I'd automatically assume Egghead would beat Jared in a fight. I don't know. I don't know. On YouTube, we've never heard about this guy until, what was it, last year or two years ago? I think it was. Actually, I think it was just last year, maybe. Um, well, anyways, two years is still nothing. So, like... Where was he during that time before two years ago? Don't you think that's kind of weird? So here's my theory on it. Um, James and John likely were friends, but they were just like, you know, Twitter friends, if you want to call it that. John was never a part of any of their crap. They probably just talked a few times. But yeah, Egghead is is obsessed with Jared, and we'll we'll watch one of Egghead's Jared videos. I was on Twitter, maybe hung out once or twice in real life. But what I think happened is this: I think somehow John knew that James was gonna quit, and he talked him out of it. And I think that's what started the whole neighbor nerds thing, because. 
I got to be real, bro. I don't think James can tolerate Mike anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I think he got sick of him, dude. Um, the reason why he's doing all this, like, I think this is happening. I think this is what happened. You don't, you have no idea. I say this is because James isn't that stupid. I mean, I'm sure he would have known that if he would have restarted James and Mike Monday, they would have gotten a lot more views. There's obviously some kind of stigma between James and Mike. I can just tell, bro. I can just fucking tell. <laughs> okay. Um, he calls him Matei in his book, you know, <laughs> he won't even call him by his first name. Um, apparently Mike's still, you know, he's part of Cinemassacre, but I don't think they really talk to each other much. I think he's just like really behind the scenes, kind of like the screen wave slobs, which, um, by the way, you know what I want to say about that? Hold on. Oh, I knew no, it. No, I'm not going to fart. Did I throw you for a loop there? I you did, actually. I, hey, I'm actually shocked. You surprised me. Didn't fart. Ah. I have to kind of get things situated because I'm quite bloated right now. <laughs> but I still wanted to make this video. I bet he ate so much of that fucking turkey. You know he ate all kinds of turkey. So bear with me, guys. That, that fucking turkey meat did something. Nope. Holy shit. Well, tur I, I will say when I eat turkey, I get sleepy and shit. So, but I don't, I try not to eat so much that I feel like I'm pregnant, you know? Um, <clears throat> okay, we're good to go. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, fucking hell. So, yeah, bro, uh, what I was going to say is I really don't even know if ScreenWave is still affiliated with James. Like, I really Who cares? Because... That could be... I think they're friends still. I don't know if they work together. I don't care enough to really dig into it. Like, I'll watch AVGN if I want to. Uh, you know, if the video looks good, I'll watch it. The reason why he was going to quit, too. Maybe he just didn't want to have to deal with all of it. There's really no evidence that ScreenWave Media is still with James. Unless someone in the comments can prove me wrong... I don't see how we would know. Um, I could be off on that, I'll admit. You're off on almost everything, there, so probably. You know, man, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think James just had enough of those losers. I mean, really, bro. Can you imagine having to be around someone like Kieran all day? <laughs> I mean, he hired him, so I think, yeah, he thought about that. <laughs> someone like that fucking asshole. Uh, Justin or Tony. Ugh. I like Tony. Ooh. Tony's been on DP a couple times. Justin Silverman, he's cool. He seems cool. I don't really know him that well. Like, I've encountered him in person at conventions, but I don't really know him. Uh, look at this screen grab here. <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, that's enough to drive anyone nuts, dude. They're all so fucking cringy and so goddamn stupid. <laughs> I mean, really, son. Really, son. <laughs> the memes are great, though. I mean, the ScreenWave memes, shout-outs to, like, Film Trek and fucking, um, what's that other one? Brown Electrons. Those are top-tier memes, dude. And it's, be it's because of the ScreenWave slobs. That the memes really took. By the off. way, guys, I'm I'm trying to reach a goal tonight. Uh, I had some unexpected expenses pop up. Uh, my uh, my website, the the website that I use to link the calendar and stuff, came up for renewal, and it's not that expensive. But I didn't remember that it was coming, and that came and kind of like knocked off, knocked uh, threw off my entire budget. Um. Like, their website hosting platform was like, no, we need our money, fool. You know? So, it's only like a hundred bucks a year. But I was, I forgot about it. I just started using it again. Oh. Um. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. I needed that burp. Um, <laughs> but yeah, bro. Um, I was just going to say, too, James should just embrace the memes, bro. Like, he really just needs to embrace that shit. That's what I did when I was Lord Genesis with EFAP, and I, I had more views than I probably ever will in my life. Yep, you did. I had like 2,000 subs, bro. Yep, you did. It's because I embraced the memes. Yeah, and then, but now you don't, to your own detriment. You should look into Trisha Licious. She's crazy. Trisha Licious. You know, I, I took lemons and I made lemonade with it, with the whole Star Wars video thing. You know, that stupid Star Wars video I did, that review. Uh, if James were to do that, like, if he could actually just man up, you know, and just take the piss, as the English like to say, my kind of people. Uh, you know, make fun of yourself a little bit. Have some fun, man. And I think people would respect you a lot more. <laughs> Hank. Make a video where you're just, like, hanging everything from the ceiling, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even, like, your refrigerator and your cat. People would really respect you for that, James. It's just an idea, bro. I really think that would make you so much more successful on YouTube if you could just embrace the fucking memes, bro. Mike can somewhat embrace the memes, but he, he will only to an extent. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, if you go on his live streams, he might, you know, talk about Inspector Gadget a little bit. Bow, 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 bow. I like Inspector Gadget, by the way. But he won't, you know what I'm saying? Like, he won't. He one of the best anime, one of the best theme songs for any animated show ever. He won't talk about 540. Gotta go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He won't bow, 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 bow. Uh, He bow, needs bow, bow, to bow, go bow, because bow. <laughs> that would definitely help him out, too. But uh, I just want to say this again, bro. Like, I don't care for Mike Mate. Um, I think he was kind of a coattail writer. And I think him even... Uh, no, I think he was an integral part of the Cinemassacre channel for several years. So, no, not a coattail writer. He put in the work and his work was appreciated. The Cinemassacre was pretty fucking shallow. You know, and I bet James probably held that against him, too. I bet that's a big reason why he doesn't like Mike anymore. It's because he just straight up ditched him, bro. <laughs> you know, it's like you don't do that to a friend, man. And I said that in my video, too, when uh, Mike quit. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> well, I was offline when that happened. But when I came back about two years ago, I that was one of the first videos I made, actually, was talking about that. It's like, what the fuck, Mike? You know? <laughs> I understand James is a moron, but you just don't do that to your fucking friends, dude. Like, really, son? That's fucked up. <laughs> Everyone that's watching right now, please like the stream also. Yeah, you know, it is It is true. AVGN did start 20 years ago. I was thinking today it was crazy. Uh, this year, it's been 25 years since I graduated from high school. That's kind of mind-blowing to me. 25 years since I graduated from high school is just ridiculous. But yeah, anyways, dude. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. You know, fucking John, dude. He's just... God, he's so unlikable with his stupid fucking bald head and his goddamn fish okay. t-shirt. Like, he's just... Uh, some people, they just were not made for camera, and he is damn sure one of them. <laughs> but you know what? I'll just say this, okay? We'll end it on a Christian note here. <laughs> if my theory is true, I'll, I'll give it to you, John. That was, a, you know, that that was a uh, a commendable thing of you to try to help a friend. It was, dude, and I can respect that. But <laughs> I mean, it sure as hell ain't gonna. <laughs> That's but. why I don't consider myself a millennial. I I consider myself more of a Gen Xer. Because by the time the new millennium started, the 21st century, I was already 19 years old, you know? And I turned 20 in 2021. So, <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, I just identify more with Gen X. It just seems to line up more. I was already an adult when the new millennium started. Should have got some water. Um, sure as hell ain't going to save his channel. 
I'm just going to say this, bro. Cinemassacre is a sinking ship. Uh, it is. His views are slowly dying. And I doubt he'll probably be around. I think... I was 20 years old in 2021. Even giving this guy five years is probably generous. Uh, but you know what? I mean, in five years' time, he'll be 50. He could probably retire by then. I mean, I know the guy's got money, dude. It's funny because the one thing Jared really wants all the people that he's jealous of. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2001. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Sorry. I'm, my brain is not working right now. Yeah, I was born in 2001. I was born in 81. Yeah, I'm not doing math good. No math going good this time me me bad at math i know this guy's got fucking cash and <laughs> you turned 20 in 2021 are you sure i'm not sure i i i understand <laughs> yeah i meant to say 2001 i turned 20 uh 9 11 year you know um I mean, if he's smart, maybe he's invested in crypto or shit. Thank you, by the way. Now we're at uh, 12%. I love Jared's like Jared believes that if you invest in crypto, you're going to be super rich. Uh, no. Crypto is in a down. I mean, it's gone up a little bit recently, but it was in a downturn for the last like four, three to four years. A massive downturn. Like that. He could probably retire at 50, I would imagine anyways, but I'm not exactly sure because, well, his channel hasn't been doing good for a while, so I don't exactly know how wealthy this guy is, but, I mean, then again, it, this is James we're talking about, like, you know, he ain't somebody who's gonna fucking own a Lamborghini, <laughs> you know what I mean? He I, could. I guess he probably spent a lot of money on, like, retro stuff, though, I mean, I would imagine... Um, in terms of like movies and games and other stuff, I mean, he might actually be a big spender. Who really knows with this guy? I mean, for all we know, dude. We don't know. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe he has another basement. You know what I'm saying? A fucking sex dungeon and all kinds of fucking lovely little equipment that he likes to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> likes to fucking. Oh, Lord. Let's not even go there, Jared. Um, uh, I was going to say, you know, likes to fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, what am I even trying to say, dude? I don't fucking know. Likes to play Frankenstein. <laughs> likes to, likes to play Frankenstein on his wife. I don't fucking know, bro. What? Anyways, guys, I'm starting to trip. You'll have to forgive me. Um, it must've been something in that Turkey. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching y'all. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the whole John situation. I really think this guy may have actually saved James's ass because Mike, he's, I, I don't think Mike and James really even talk anymore. You so. don't know if they talk or not. Again, John, shout out to you, and bro. And it's none of I your mean, business, I and I don't know why you care. I don't like you, but if this is true, I will say again, that was a commendable thing of you to do. Um, and yeah, bro, you know, I, I think this guy was just looking out for his friend. I think that's probably what happened. And I think that Screenwave probably did leave because he came in about the same time they stopped making videos with him. <coughs> Makes sense to me anyways. Tell me your thoughts in the comments, guys. Peace. All right. Let's watch, J uh, let's watch Egghead's Jared video. <laughs> okay, Egghead, stop starting your videos going, ah! <laughs> he always, all of his videos, Egghead opens with a face palm. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. We got some shit that we need to talk about tonight. Let's get into it. What's up, bitches? <laughs> So...
I'm just not going to uh, waste any time by setting up anything. I'm just going to come out and flat out say it. Jared Genesis is a fucking coward. Now, coward! Now, you're probably thinking, Hey, okay, we already know that he's a fucking coward. I mean, come on, for God's sakes, get on with it already. Well, let's just... I just want to give you guys some actual extreme fucking examples on why exactly he is a f the music that egghead chose for the background music in this video is ridiculous fucking coward <laughs> example number one your discord rules let's take a look at these discord rules shall we number one ask me why i don't have a job or that i need to get one is an instant ban number two any p word that, uh, that's almost written like he wants you to ask him. Her related is gonna get you banned. Rule one, ask me why I don't have a job. You guys know my stance. Number three, no question about my personal life. This is Discord, not Facebook. Number four, spamming anything will get you banned. Number five, I'll know right off the bat if you're trying to honeypot me, so don't even bother, obvious ban. Number six, I don't do any views. Ask me will get you banned simply because that tells me you are a cloud chaser and not a fan. Let's go through all those points by points by points, shall we? Uh, number one, ask me why I don't have a job or that I need to get one as an instant ban. We all know why. Egged. Clean off your dresser, Egged. Why you refuse to get a job? Because you believe that getting a job is a slave for the system. But you know, if a person's new to your Discord and they want to know why you won't actually get a job and you won't explain why, that's some cowardly shit right there, Jared. Any P word related is going to get you banned. We all know what your stance is on the whole PDF file crap because you are one. You've made that perfectly clear time and time and time again. Number three, no questions about my personal life. We don't even have to ask about your personal life because you explain it all for us. And hell, I know something. <laughs> yes! Thank you so much. We're at 16.8%. I really, uh, I, meeting this goal would be very beneficial uh, if we could do that, please. Thank you. About your personal life that you don't want actually people spreading about you. And we'll actually get to that at the end of these points. Number four, spamming anything will get you banned. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone spamming your pathetic dead zone of a Discord server. You know right off the bat that you're trying to honeypot people. Oh, really? Really? You know that? Is that why you always fall for it time and time and time again? You get into fucking Discord DMs with various women instantly showing off your damn little chub of a dick. Number six. It's not even a chode. You don't do interviews. This one I will never understand. People in the past have actually offered to pay you money. He won't do it because he knows he's going to look like a fool. He's going to be asked to talk about his his views, the, the P word views. And you refuse to do an interview. That makes no sense. They're giving you money to sit down and talk and explain yourself and you say no. <gasps> That's some cowardly ass bullshit right there. So you remember how I said point number three was pretty much about how he doesn't want people digging into his personal life? I wonder why. Maybe it's because he doesn't want people to know that his personal life is bullshit and he's actually abusing and wants something done to his dad. Here are two screenshots that I have acquired that pretty much showed that he does not love his father like he claims to say. It kills me seeing her like that every day, man. Sometimes I wish I had the balls to take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared talked multiple times about how he wish he could kill his own dad. But I know he's not worth it. You have to let God fight those battles. I've learned that in life. Hmm, I wonder what taking him out could be. Taking him out to dinner? Taking him out to a movie? Taking him out to a baseball game? Who the fuck knows? No, 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 no. I know what taking him out means, ladies and gentlemen. This one should take the cake on what Jared thinks of his dear old daddy. He's lucky I haven't him yet. All right, everyone. He said it. We can go home now. Get bags at the door. Jared Genesis hates his dad and wants to unalive him. Dude's a fucking psychopath and he wants he has the gall to call all of us a psychopath? 
he calls everyone else psychopaths, but yet he wants to do that to his dad. Really, Jared? Example number two of Jared being an absolute coward, his Discord link. For weeks, he's had this link plastered in his YouTube description page of pretty much saying, come to my Discord server, come to my Discord. He even said in a YouTube video that you can't grow as a content creator without a Discord. Well, people did exactly what he wanted. People joined, people raided his server. And what happened to it? Well, let me exp let, 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 let's just let have, let's have Jared tell you what happened to him himself, shall we? Roll it. Anyways, y'all, um, listen, man, I know my channel's still growing. My trolls know they're not going to stop me. Um, I may not have a discord right now, but I'll tell you guys something, dude. I made some really cool friends, um, just a few days ago meeting some new people. I don't regret it. It still benefited my life. So thank you, asshole trolls, for helping me, you know, get in touch with some really cool people that I'm now talking <laughs> to. Cool harder. You guys help get me new followers, new people I can reach out to. So you can He's growing, like bud. Ass. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jared nuked his own. Dia Newell's Batman. Server. Egghead what is happened, back. Mr. Alpha Male, Mr. Big Shot. Oh, that's right. You got too scared. You got too pussyfied to even handle anyone coming into your Discord server. So you tucked your tail between your legs and you fled. You deleted the Discord server link and you delete and you left. You, you you fled. You fled like a little coward. Example number three of why Jared Genesis is a flat-out coward, his YouTube comment section. He has turned off every single comment section in his channel. You can't leave a comment anywhere on his YouTube channel. Why? Well, let's have Jared explain it for y'all. Roll it. But just bear with me. I'm not turning the comments back on my YouTube because I'm tired of giving these autistic a voice and letting them spill their autism on me. I'm just tired of it, bro. Jared is too fucking just tired of it, bro. That he just won't even allow people to express their opinions on the video in his server, or even in the comment section of his video. Because he doesn't want to spread autism around. Showing an example, another example of why he hates people who have autism. It used to be pretty much if you weren't kissing his ass, you weren't allowed to comment on his channel because he would just end up blocking you. But now, he doesn't want anyone commenting, fan or even anything like that. He is so fucking cowardly and paranoid. It's beyond pathetic at this point. And <laughs> example number four, and this one's my favorite, he refuses to acknowledge me. Egghead, clean off your dresser. What the hell? Or even respond to any of my points. <laughs> now, let's just get on with this. Let's whole tell this whole story of how I believe, oh, I fully 100% am convinced at this point that Jared Genesis bears me. For months, I have been owning your ass in video responses, calling your ass out, proving that you're wrong, proving that you're paranoid, proving that you are a hateful human being and not a Christian, proving that you are a PDF file. He's a Christian. Of all everything else. And yet, not a single peep from you. Not a single solidary peep. The only time that you have ever responded to me, ever, was when you slandered me on TikTok and... <laughs> You thought I went into your Gilded account, which I never did. You even accused me of having your Twitter nuked with no evidence. No evidence whatsoever. After you banned me the first time in your recent Discord oh, server, God. you called me Allergies are terrible. Henchman of all people. You are my henchman. Don't lie. You are my henchman. Buddy, I must be the worst fucking henchman of- You are, but that's fine. time, according to DP. I must be the worst henchman- You are, you're a terrible henchman, but, you know, we like you. In the history of the drunken peasants, I am fully 100% convinced that you are afraid of me. 
but you refuse to even respond to me. Fight him, Egghead, fight him! You'll make videos on all these other people. Ben, King Cobra JFS, Kid Wizard, all these other fucking people. But yet, you refuse to acknowledge me or even talk about anything that I, I respond to you about. And I and it's pretty much this. You fear me. You are a coward. You keep saying that I fear you. That I'm afraid of you. That me responding to you means that I'm afraid of you. You're a fucking delusional, idiotic person. And all you do is project yourself onto me and everyone else. I know that I repeat myself at this point, but it's true. It's all you do. So, in conclusion, Jared Genesis is nothing more than a coward. He constantly likes to sit there and say that he's this big, tough, macho man. But he'll hide in his home when people go to his house. He'll hide, he'll hide in his home anyway. That's his default position. Yeah, and he's. I think he's at least smart enough to. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. We're almost at twenty percent of the goal. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think Jared is actually smart enough to have seen what happened to Cyrax when he came out of his house, and Jared doesn't want to go to jail. Line. He won't respond to people. In the comments. You're the yin to Jared's wang. He'll delete people off of Discord. You're the chin to Jared's wang. They don't suck his dick, and he's afraid to even acknowledge or respond to any of the points that I've made. This is the tough guy. This is the alpha male that he constantly likes to claim that he is. Give me a fucking break. I'm more of a real man. I'm more of an alpha male than he will ever be in his entire life life i'm egghead thanks for watching liar get fucked jared Good God almighty. <sighs> jared genesis is so fucking pathetic he will never be a real man what is this thing in the video where you you end the video but you keep recording and then you walk away and you're like yeah jared sucks ha <laughs> like <laughs> acknowledge any of my points it's truly truly pathetic oh my god <sighs> here's a here's an old jared video oh shit so i really don't like most christians even though i am one which may seem like a contradiction just like my weird pointy nipple if you can see that I know you want to give it a squeeze, bitches. Oh, yeah. And it, they fucking are painful, much like touching my pointy nipple, because they annoy me so much, and they make me mad. They make me very mad. Because a lot of Christians are pussies. They won't even fucking stand up for their beliefs and get mad like I do. They don't have that fire in them, man. And uh, they don't have that Alex Jones fire, dude. They don't have ha! that fucking WJ Classics YouTube dude fire. Egghead, you're you're lacking that Alex Jones fire. You know what I'm saying, man? It's like, fuck. And, like, a lot of Christians don't even know the fucking Bible like I do. We don't understand it on a high philosoph philosophical. Philosophical. Phil philosophical. Philosophical. Ha! How do you say philosophical? Philosophical. Philosophical. Philos. He can't figure it out. Philosophical. You know what I mean, dudes. Anyways, they don't know it philosophy wise and. Philopopsical. Like fucking. I don't think they understand God as a force rather than God as a dude in the fucking sky. And if they did, they'd finally be able to counter all this stupid atheists that keep saying, blah, 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 your god comes from the sky. He's a giant man. <laughs> Egghead, you got to step into the ring with Jared. <laughs> You're fucking idiots, atheists, for saying that because a lot of Christians don't believe that. And guess what, atheists? A lot of Christians are scientists. I bet that really pisses you off, too, to know that one in three scientists are open to the idea of a higher being, of a deity. That doesn't mean they're Christian, by the way. That just means they're open to the possibility of there being some kind of higher being. 
That doesn't even mean they necessarily believe in it. They're just open to the possibility. So fuck on that, man. But that's not what I'm talking about. Not yeah, you're taking something that, do that does not say that most scientists are Christian and making it say that. But it's not saying that at all. Oh, okay. I'm talking about Christians, okay? Christians, we need to wake up and we need to grow some balls and start defending ourselves more against these idiots that bash us. Well, why do we just take this heaping shit from them all the time? They're retarded. All the time. And the, He's putting on like a weird fake voice. <laughs> the points they make are so stupid, too. It's like... It's like they're not even trying to... Ah, to be young again. Ah, to make that white stuff hey, come out again. Make that white stuff come out again. Have a logical debate. It's like they're just more like having like a uh, philosophical debate. Philosophical. Philosophical. You know what I mean? It's stupid. It's like... It's stupid how no one's willing to have a philosophical debate. I don't even think there is such a thing as like an atheist trying to have a logical debate about things. Because they should know that there is logic in God as a force. But instead, they just turn it into something personal. They turn it into, like, politics and what? stupid shit like that. And, like, you know what I mean? They turn it into, like, who's smart and who's dumb kind of thing. Pretty sure it's the religious people who put it into politics. They Their, their religious views influence their political positions. Thing. But um, don't be afraid of them, man. They're just stupid little weak-minded kids. A lot of atheists are just like 16-year-olds, man. They're fucking pimply-faced little 16-year-old kids. Fucking live on YouTube. Isn't that what so you do? fuck them, man. And like, know that Jesus was like the ultimate rebel, okay? He, he wasn't just a fucking boring old person. He was like the ultimate rebel, the things he did, man, he ate, you know, he ate dinner with prostitutes and tax collectors. Okay. <laughs> the most hated of all people. And he treated them like human beings. Nobody else did that. I mean, fuck, people looked at him weird for doing that. People hated him because he did that. And so he was a fucking rebel. Essentially. He said to love your enemy, people. Fucking love your enemy. Nobody fucking said that back then. They said bathe in your fucking enemy's blood. They said eye for an eye, fucking tooth for a tooth, motherfucker. Okay? And so, you, Chris, Christians, we need to understand that Jesus was a rebel. He wasn't just a revolutionary. And I think that's very important as well. Um, and yeah, just he's like 10 years younger probably about 60 pounds lighter he wears clothes i mean he looks like he probably bathes so yeah he looks better here than he does now like the way we judge other people we need to stop doing that too like especially with other christians if a christian wants to have some fucking tattoos and piercings just let him i mean mm. Where in the fucking Bible does it say you can't do that? When did Jesus... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff in the Old Testament where tattoos are forbidden. I know tattoos are forbidden in Judaism. You can't get buried in a, in a Jewish cemetery if you have tattoos. So you can't do that anyways. Like, you're not really hurting yourself by doing that. And like... What the fuck? I mean, just let people do what they want and like. But yeah, it's in the Bible. I don't know. And judging other people too, I guess, non-Christians. I mean, that's not cool either, but it's just bullshit. And like, I think a lot of us Christians are what make people turn to atheism and agnosticism is because you know, the way we treat them sometimes, which is bullshit, I'll admit, on my behalf, on our behalf, it is bullshit sometimes. You know, you gotta fucking respect other people. But if, You do not respect other people. No, at the same time, you gotta fucking stand for what you believe in. Um, I think he was on meds at this point in his life. I don't know, man. Just believing, I think... 
the main problem is our concept of God. To me, God is an eternal force, okay? He exists through love and through other, you know, good emotions. He exists through art, through fucking, you know, things of expression. He exists through goodness, through love, mainly. And, you know, through charity. Um, and so, without God, there is Satan. And Satan stands for the things exactly opposite. You know, the best description actually is what was made by George Lucas. George Lucas. And George Lucas? I knew he was going to bring up a Star Wars comparison. Star Wars. Um, the Force. Dude, you just. I just watched a video from him that he made like a week ago where he said Star Wars was like satanic. And, uh, and like George Lucas is an evil guy and, uh, and, and the force is like paganism or something, but is he about to do the opposite and say the force is like God? The force to me is one of the greatest explanations of God. And I'm sure ah, dude, you, he just made a video recently. The, the, the video he made about Drop Dead Fred, he talks about Star Wars and how the Force is like paganism. George Lucas is probably some fucking atheist piece of shit since all of his followers are. But like, I just find this so incredibly ironic because that to me is the greatest description of God is the Force. This feeling in you. I would say the Force is almost like the Holy Spirit, you know, like if you want to put religious religion into it. This... You know, this fucking uh, energy inside you, like chi. If you don't know what chi is, chi is... Chi ball. ...is what the Buddhists and, you know, ancient Chinese, <laughs> as well as modern-day Chinese, believe is like an energy inside you. Um, an energy that can give you, you know, strength and basically what, you know, makes all things move and shit. And like... But, um, <laughs> yes, the same way King Drac from Dracula Flow does only Drac can back it up. This shit ain't nothing to him. No, nope. it's on YouTube if you need a sicko break. So, don't, don't believe that God is just a man in the sky because I will say, you know, atheists are right on that. Okay, as much as I hate to agree with them, that we are stupid for saying that. Because God is a force. He's not a man in the sky. And I think some people, some Christians actually believe that. Like, I believe in the Big Bang Theory. I just believe it was God that created the Big Bang Theory, okay? God is an eternal force. Nothing had to create God because he's eternal. Does that make sense? I mean, <laughs> how would anything need to create him if he was eternal? That's stupid. He's infinite. I mean, you could say the same thing about the universe. You could just say the universe didn't have to be created because it's eternal. Why does it have to be God? But, um, it's not, look, it's not rocket science, okay? Believe it or not, you know. It's not science at all. The explanation for God and shit like that. <laughs> it's not rocket science, man. And you don't have to be a scientist to, to back up you know, the theory of God. Uh, one really good website I recommend going to is um, by this dude named Robert Spitzer. He's a Christian scientist on um, EWTN Catholic Network, but he's got a website called uh, MagisFaithAndReason.org, I think. Something to that extent. And he gives a good, you know... Uh, explanations of what Christians can use to back up their faith on a more logical level. But, uh, I don't know, man. Other than that, I think Christians' biggest problems are judging people. And I'll admit, you know, to atheists again, I know we have an issue there. Uh, I'm not going to apologize because I think atheists are pieces of shit. But, uh, Why? I'll apologize to people of other different faiths besides atheists that we do this. And, you know, I've I've probably been guilty of it too, so I apologize on my behalf. Um, so if we can just work on that, I think more people will respect Christians as a whole. And um, I don't know, man. I just hope that one day we can fucking all live in harmony and uh, <laughs> he definitely eat doesn't believe this on the anyway. campfire, fucking rub each other's nipples, and like hang Christmas ornaments on our on our penises, and just like jump around and have a jolly time. 
I guess that's all I can really say right now. Um, so yeah, fucking I don't care. Whatever. Check out my Ninja Turtles cap, dude. Isn't that sweet? Got it at fucking Wally World. And I put these badass stickers. If anyone knows... See, he has to put stickers. That's what this is. You are my fucking god. Animal Chin, 1980 skateboarding video. When skateboarding still meant something. Fuck yeah. Hit me up if you know what this shit is, dude. Later. All right. So that's some old school Jared. Some Jared. I am going to step away for a minute here. I will be right back and we'll watch some more stuff. Don't go anywhere because it's going to continue and you don't want to miss it. So stay right here. I'll be right back. having allergies they're awful 
<laughs> oh, God. I got a little chun -Li within me. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see. Someone told me to check out Trisha Licious, so now I'm going to check her out. I don't know anything about her. Um, well, let's see. Somebody stop that guy. I don't want to. Twisted tea, huh? I don't know what this is. I don't know who any of these people are. Well, I'll never spin a dreidel, but I'll always throw an egg. Now, Charlie or your leg for laugh. I don't know what this song is. So what is this? Hold on. I even got the Whoville. I got the Whoville. I just wanted to, you know, just wanted to bring you guys in with something festive with my face tuned face. I'm dancing. All that Whoville. Whoville Christmas magic. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> A highly regarded hairstyle. Just, just so everyone knows. Check it out. You like my Whoville? Curl. I even got the Whoville. I got the Whoville curls. Look at, look at them on this side too. I know. I know. I'm a, I'm an, I'm a hair artist. I know. You're a hair artist? Oh, well, uh, I don't want to see what you look like. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know why you're here, biatch. I don't even know why you're here. I don't even know who the fuck you are, nor do I care. I don't think anybody does. Maybe blogger. He might be trying to like get some money from you. I think he's trying to like riz you up because he thinks you're a desperate old lady. So he's like, oh, maybe this desperate old bitch will give me some fucking funds so I can buy some more twisted teas. So I think that's probably what's going. Maybe you should go bark up his. Tree. Does she drink a lot of twisted tea? Fuck right off, bitch. Nobody gives a fuck about you here. So I'm trying to. This is. I this is someone who was. She's going to on a trip to Spokane. Wow, I can't think of like what's what's your first choice of a vacation destination? Spokane. I know I'm the cutest, littlest, tiniest who in Whoville, but I'm taking a break from being the clout fairy today. Thank you. That's what um my. This is Trisha Licious, and I mean we gotta. <laughs> Her name's Trisha Licious. I don't know anything else about her. Stalker says every time I'm not live, they like literally have Trisha Licious withdrawals. And they're like, oh, she has a herpes outbreak. No, I have a fucking life. That's what it is. Maybe <laughs> she has a herpes it outbreak. Sometime. It might, you know, might be nice for a change. But I want to eat it later. I might eat it on cam like a slappy pig. I might get full into character. And just, just, you know, fucking get it all over my face and just blah, 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 out like that. Do a little bit of, maybe, might, I might get up, I might do a little bit of this. Okay, uh, yeah. Putting uh, copyrighted music into your edited videos does not help. Fucking evil, insane bitch. Crystal Ann is an evil, insane bitch too, but in a different way. Um... Crystal Ann is mostly harmless as long as you don't fucking like invite her into your home. Kind of like a vampire. As long as you don't invite her in, she can't hurt you. Well, 
She seems crazy, similar to Jessica. She's definitely better looking than Jessica. I'm not saying she's like the most beautiful person I've ever seen or anything, but she's definitely better looking than Jessica. But yeah, she seems pretty crazy. <laughs> if you deal with her, you invite her into your house, watch out. All hell will break loose. It's going to be a very bad time. A very bad time for you. I'm 43, yes. Um, so she's the same age as me. She's a little bit older than me because I'm not quite 43 yet. So it's going to be a bad time. Um, Crystal Marie, though, she's like a vengeful spirit that just pops up wherever. You never know when she might materialize with her, you know, and go after your kids or fucking make up lies, call you a murderer. Who knows? Like, she's just a drunken, wet brain, vengeful spirit. That's the way I see. That's the way I see Crystal Marie. She's very nasty. Um, people think that she, I don't know, apparently these, these fucking low class fucking streamer dudes think that she's cute, like good times or whatever. Um, personally, I don't think that somebody that calls a, an eight year old girl a prostitute is cute. I don't think someone that wishes death on, um, a, a young innocent child that fucking of someone that has nothing to do with them, um, is cute. Like, I had never done anything to this bitch, and she's, like, wishing death on my child just because she's jealous of me. Because I actually was a model, and she wasn't. Like, bitch, nobody believes you. You never even had any fucking teeth until, like, the last fucking six months or whatever it was. <laughs> who the fuck I don't know was who, you to I don't even know who she's talking about. Model. Fucking. I, I, I don't know. Is there a magazine called Toothless that I'm not aware of? Because I, or fucking Meth Horror fucking Weekly? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know who you were modeling for, but you certainly ain't a guest girl, bitch. Fucking shit. <laughs> like, what was she modeling for? Was she modeling for, like, domestic violence, like, fucking posters where, like, she's, like, the after of, like, the girl that got her fucking teeth knocked out? <laughs> like, was that it? Was she doing that? Like, <laughs> the fuck? What were you modeling for, bitch? Fucking uh, meth ads, like this is before meth. Meth this is ads, after meth, like don't do meth. Look at your teeth. Look, at, like were you modeling for a dentist? Like fucking anti drug, fucking like kind of like how Issa did. Were you doing like a anti drug advertisement for your fucking dentist or what the fuck? Because I don't know who the fuck was paying you to model what. They were they like? Do they have to pay you extra to keep your fucking mouth closed, bitch? They must have. No, I found out what kind of person blogger is and i am no i live driving distance from spokane and i wouldn't go there let alone raise money to go there no longer interested in anything to do with him um he's a fake he's a phony he's a big liar he's just a really disgusting person and i don't have time for that in my life no thank you i'd rather meet quality people and nice people that are decent then waste my time on a loser that even treats his own family like shit. Like, <clears throat> if he treats his own family like shit, like how, why do you think he's gonna treat you better? Come on, that's silly. I'm not gonna stream with him when I go to Spokane. Absolutely not. I don't, why go to or Spokane? Not, I don't give a fuck. I can make, I don't need him for content. I can make my own damn content because I already know I'd probably end up, I don't know. I don't, I have a, a very extreme dislike for him. I don't want that person around me ever. And especially my child. She smoked too many cigarettes. Evil person. Yeah, it sounds like she's about to lose her voice. Like she sounds like she was at a concert screaming all night or whatever. And he showed his true colors and I don't know. I don't think anybody wants to have anything to do with him and I can't blame them. Blogger looks like a homeless leprechaun. Ah, yes, you're you have a point there. You do have a point there. Um <laughs> I don't think he's the worst looking guy in the world, but I definitely don't he's not he's no Aaron Carter. And even like, Aaron Carter. I'll be honest about him, like the one thing that obviously wasn't attractive besides like the prolapse anus, but before I even knew all that was like his body. Like, I don't know what happened to his body, but it's like, do his parents have him on puberty blockers? Or uh, was, he, did, was he a girl? I don't know, but it's like, 
how I have never seen somebody like that that has like a 12 year old body that never like he has the face of a 40 year old man but the body of a 12 year old I don't understand that and the brain of a 12 year old so I think his body and his brain just never developed but his face did it's kind of weird did blogger remind me of someone be real are you trying to like hint that he reminded me of Aaron um only in self-destructive ways which is really sad um not Aaron at his best absolutely not 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 sober Aaron not who Aaron really was um maybe when at times yeah at, at times yes at times yes but they're two totally different people um coming from co two completely separate places um you guys have to understand blogger is not a normal human being he doesn't deserve compassion he's a malignant narcissist he doesn't he's not capable of emotions period. i don't know who she's talking he's about he's just not wired his brain is not wired that way if you don't hate crystal you don't know her well enough <laughs> so that's all i'm gonna say about that you, same thing with same thing with controller same thing with kawissa dude if you don't hate kawissa you haven't experienced her enough you and i've told everybody this look at what's happening with sandman now they were bosom buddies and you can't look as good as me because I have been that, but guess what? But who's the bitch now? I fucking told you. I motherfucking told ya. I get, I do get not, I do Let's get, watch this other video of her. Let's say. Oh my God, I'm so tired of my live cutting off. At this point, I believe it was totally my daughter because she's being... She's talking about her daughter here. She's really testing me tonight. Thank you for joining. Thanks for coming back. I'm trying to chill. My daughter is getting on my last nerve. All day long. It's been one of those days. One of those days. If you're parents, I'm sure you can feel me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I have just like legit so had it though. Like, I'm about to call my parents and be like, you can like take her for the night. <laughs> Cause she's being so badly behaved. And it's just embarrassing. Mom, dad, get this little shit out of way from me. Welcome. Thank you for joining. It's good to see you. It's good to see you all. I'm trying to chill out. My daughter has been like, I've had enough. I like literally woke up with stress today and I'm trying to like combat it. And now she's stressing me out on a whole nother level. So I'm like, oh, fun. Look at, this is what I'm talking about. She got fucking water in my face. Mm. No wonder why my makeup was all fucked up. Not sure there's much to work I with. I vacation, y'all. You guys on vacation to Spokane? I don't know what this is. I feel like the wind's really picking up, though. Uh, sounds like it. Oh, this stupid pipe. I don't know. Really? Hold on, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to hide behind this chair. It's not working. <coughs> the crazy chair. Oh, great. I need some help. Yeah, what's new? Oh, great. I need some help. Yeah, what's new? Wow. No. Leave me alone. Yeah, what's new? Leave me alone. You're not going to light me on fire. Yes, I am. 
She said, you're not going to light me on fire. Is she trying to light her on fire? <laughs> I'm so pissed, I can't even get this to light. I'm getting pissed. Oh my god. Yeah, she was recommended to watch to see, uh, I don't know, maybe someone can recommend. The whole, the whole bowl's ruined. Oh my god. Baby, <laughs> fucking A. Like, just trying to smoke a fucking bowl. Like, now I'm so pissed. Kind of seems like she has a victim complex. What? what? Child has really been testing. Sheridan. Nobody cares. Tropical sunset breeze. Oh my god, please go live with me. I hope I have another beer. My child is driving me cuckoo. Here, see, here she goes. What? I don't know who's providing the commentary, but it's kind of funny. Look at me, I'm so cool. Ha, look at me, I'm so cool. That was cute. Oh, I'm doing this. oh yeah, you're so cool. You better hope I have another beer in the fridge. I swear to God, I'm gonna go look right Why? now. Why? Then you go look and open the refrigerator. Okay. I'm so sorry. Every single time. Time. No one's here with Like just one time. No one's here with Like just one time. No one's here with it. Like just when Gia gets here, everything gets really ruined. Are you calling me a loco? Not fucking loco. Ooh. What are you talking about? Thank huh. you. I need about six more. I'm probably have to gonna go back to the fucking store and get me some more beers. Cause I've been drinking all day and now I have to drink more and I'm irritated. Cause haters and my daughters just yeah. haters. I made this yummy water again. Surprise, surprise. Of course you did. Of course you made yucky water because you love making yucky stuff. I go I'm just going to make that is disgusting. Oh my god. Get that. Don't bring that on the carpet. Keep it down there. Don't bring it up here. She's got mud, like muddy water. In she just doesn't seem like she enjoys parenthood. Well, they're better they're dangerous. I don't know. The, the mother usually gets the kid in many cases. Oh. Well, don't bring it up here, please. I don't need it all over everything. Mommy! What? Alright, so... Yeah, she she does seem to resent her child quite a bit. Oh. It, it haven't been made yet. Get a beer, please. Everyone go get a beer. Yes! I'm fucking cold! Ah. Huh? What is going on here? I'm so confused. I am so mad. This whole, like, I have a whole bowl, like, loaded into my pipe that just got wet. Oh no! Poor nice. you! I'm just gonna leave it out here so it dries out. <laughs> In the desert, in the desert, like, so. and then my phone keeps going off, even though it's like plugged in. Like, what is all she's on? doing is whining about bullshit. It's kind of pathetic. It's so bad. This is my phone. It's silicone, so you can like literally like squeeze it. 
It's awesome. I love it because it never breaks. You can still clean it and it's great. I gotta stop doing like... <laughs> I don't wanna be lumped in with Tom Hanks. Oh my god, there's no weed in there. That's so sad. That is really sad. That makes me very sad and I have to cry to myself. Oh my god, I just realized you guys. No, who are these people? Oh my god, I just realized I'm garbage. Coachella attendee. Absolutely. I guarantee you she's been there. Everyone keeps making fun of me for not going live with a filter. And like everyone says, Trisha, you're ugly. Please put a filter on your ugly face. So I'm like, you guys are right. Thanks for being my friends. I appreciate you for telling me that. I am going to put a filter on my ugly face so I could look a little bit more like an adrenochrome sucking celebrity. An adrenochrome sucking celebrity. Mommy, don't. You always look like beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet to me. Yeah, like you can look like a scary old lady. Oh, thank you. You're finally being nice to me. That's nice. Not like I appreciate fire. that. Ew. Ah! Ah! What about fireworks? Why do you want that fine? But... Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I have to do another quick bathroom run because I'm having some allergy issues. I'll be right back in just a moment, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're going to watch something else besides this shit.
allergies oh. are brutal. Ah. Ah. All right. Let's do. You're telling me the hush. I didn't even do anything. I'm washing my face off. The water hasn't been on that long. What are you doing? I haven't done anything to you. Uh huh? What? So horrifying. I'm 
first. She was trying to wash her face for eight hours. Their water bill at their house must be ridiculous. Jesus. Learn the truth about King Cobra's father. Where did you come from? (laughs) Yeah, they, they claim Art Bell is King Cobra's father. I came from the world of rock and roll. I was in radio for Larry about 20 years. Peppermint Shops is quite delicious. 60 proof. You'd see precursor events like just occurred in France and Germany. 300 million trees just came down in France in this last storm. 140 mile an hour straight winds in Germany. For now, banana presses in Western grocery stores aren't rising since Latin America has been spared. But consumers in North America and Europe could start seeing changes to their banana varieties and prices over the next decade if the Panama disease spreads to Latin America. I warn you. Uh, this could scare you. <laughs> okay, that was amusing. Here's an old Cobra video. Uh, February 23rd, 2015. Hey, YouTube. This here is King Cobra JFS with another video. And me and Amy just broke up. And... Honestly, um, can't see all the mister. You know. A couple things <clears throat> that led to the breakup, one of which was way too many guy friends, and I'm kind of a jealous person. Second thing is, when you're smoking with somebody, and uh, somebody just happens to be doing shotgun hits with their ex. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you're supposed to be broken up with somebody, and, yeah, no, fuck that. Okay, I'm done. Done with it. Don't care anymore. So the, uh, bachelor pad is once again, yeah, a bachelor pad, yeah. Okay. Oh, and she was not happy about it either. She's like, are you really going to kick me out? I have nowhere to go. Ha! <laughs> huh? So she broke up with him. He was like, get the fuck out. You know, and then, of course, she goes out drinking with some of her friends at her friend's house. And it's like, and she's there all fucking night. Comes back the next day, drunk as shit. And it's like, you know what? You obviously, you know, and she claims she's got people looking out for her and watching her and shit. Well, I'm sure they'll take her in and she'll sit there and, wah, 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 all guys are the same, man. Don't get me wrong. The sex was awesome. Huh? I was able to hit it and quit it at least once. But at the same time, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, Methica is kind of the the worst. I didn't. I did not feel a very strong mental connection to her. You see what I'm saying? And I'm looking for a girlfriend. I don't want. I don't just want somebody who is a great fuck. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody that intellectually stimulates me. You know what I'm saying? So, the fuck you want me to do? <clears throat> and she's like, oh, really? I had a bowl to smoke with you, too. And I'm like, you know what? There's more important things in life than weed, actually. Especially marijuana only makes you temporarily happy. So, yeah, I'm single again. And I 
I do not care. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. I really don't. Do you see me crying about it? No. Oh, God. Every five minutes, too. I'm bored. I'm bored. Okay, I'm sorry my apartment's not the funnest to hang out in. Okay. Uh, what the fuck do you want me to do? Hmm? Huh? And then here's where it gets even more interesting. So these were all the things they fought over. I go to my YouTube account. Go to Creator Studio. I go to my last video. This is 2015. <clears throat> And one particular comment stood out. What does this home wrecker have that I don't have? So what if she's real? I'm much harder. And guess who commented that, YouTube? Fun size Felicia. Bleak Rainbow. The whole, so what if she's real? Is it implying that you're not real, that you just admitted that you're not real, that you're just... Some rant, yeah. See? <laughs> like, I am so done with it, YouTube. The online dating, just, I'm fucking done with it. <sighs> oh, it's good to be single again. <sighs> As it turns out, that was, and I say was, My third girlfriend and fourth sex partner. Third girlfriend, fourth sex Man. partner. Shit happens, as they say. So Cobra's, I think, had five, maybe six. You know, and in the long run, you know, she'll find somebody that will make her life worth it. Could care less, honestly. I'm... She isn't pregnant. I pulled out. All right. That doesn't mean she's not pregnant. She's Pulling up. out is not foolproof. <sighs> and she said, delete my number. I'm like, fine by me. You know, what she told me, too, was usually she doesn't give it out until after the first four months, and I got lucky. Yeah, huh. I most definitely did. <laughs> you guys are all the same. Fuck you, stupid cunt. All you girls are all the fucking same, you know? It is what it is, YouTube. And it was just little things, and, you know, I'm not going to let, let something like that fucking build up over time, you know, and eventually I just fucking say, and, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> just no. No, no, no. And all these people watch her and say that she can't go anywhere by herself and blah, 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 blah. It's just one excuse after another, and it's just like, dude. I don't need a woman. I don't do not need a woman in my life with that much fucking drama. Okay, I really do not. Not only that, but she was thirty years old. Okay, well now you're dating a forty-year-old. You know, I need a girlfriend, yes, but right now I'm not really fussed about it. Like shit. It does, not even two, three months after breaking up with Judy. Boom, I got a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if I want a girlfriend bad enough, I can make it happen. You know? Being I'm attractive as well, I've got and gorgeous, bulging biceps. You know what I'm saying? I got some qualities about me that women look for.
Okay, Cobes. <clears throat> You're coping hard, buddy. So yeah, that's that's drama I don't need in my life. Oh yeah. That's just drama in my life I don't need. One person's like on YouTube, I'll give it a week. Try three or four days. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good at breaking hearts, YouTube. Wow. It's awesome. You know, you guys are, and she said that you guys are. My all neck is all jacked up too. I'm having allergies. My neck is jacked up. I'm, I'm exhausted. Same. <laughs> Stupid fucking cunt. Okay. The girls are all the same. Either you have way too high standards. Lower your standards. Or if he's not the right one. He's a fucking creep for checking you out. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to work around. I don't want to work around anything in a relationship with YouTube. If I get a girlfriend, I want it just to be perfect. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? I know that seems like a lot to ask for. I know it. Uh, it's impossible. Nothing is perfect. So, yeah, it's it's a lot to ask for. I mean, I know it does. <sighs> but... I didn't feel a very strong mental connection, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know. And I know it seems stupid, it really does, and little things, you know, but it is what it is, you know. Like, I actually like to cuddle when I'm in bed with somebody, with a nice young lady, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't big into cuddling. Eh. And you're thinking to yourself, you just threw away a girlfriend because of that? That seems stupid. Maybe to you it seems stupid, you two, but in the long run, you know. Uh, other fish in the sea, as they say. Uh, it's plenty of fish in the sea, not other One fish. One broke her heart so bad that she went lesbian for five fucking years. Not even shooting a YouTube. How much like she clearly has no teeth. Oh, she had some teeth, yeah, but she had know. some teeth. No. Irrelevant at the point, YouTube. It's irrelevant at this point, isn't it? Oh wait, that it is. That it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at breaking hearts, YouTube. It's awesome. I love it. You like it? If I gotta stare at an empty bed for the rest of my life, I don't give a shit. Okay, I really don't. And here's the thing. Her sister from another state, and I quote, says on Facebook, Oh my god, my sister Amy's missing. Uh, what do I do? And she wasn't missing. She wasn't. Okay, she wasn't. But the fact that she's got family members like that, that like to start drama, okay, that's just shit in my life I don't need right now, you two. Plain and simple.
Anything else you want to say, Josh? What? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I'm right saying Amy is don't hate the game, hate the players. <laughs> so Amy went to jail too. <laughs> I'm just looking up all this backstory on Amy, King Cobra, one of King Cobra's girlfriends. <clears throat> if I'm single the rest of my life at this point, YouTube, I don't care. I really don't. <sighs> If I have to get a sex doll and be done with it, so be it. Let's drama that way. Wow. That's some foreshadowing. Because I don't think I'll, I'm not going to get this. I'm not getting a sex doll just yet. I'm going to get my guitar fixed, get my driver's license, save up for a car. All these minor steps to bettering myself. And, um, <laughs> uh, you know, and I've had my heart broken so many times, YouTube, that for once it feels good to return the favor. But you're That's not returning it to now. someone who did it. So that doesn't make any uh, sense. As fucked up as that sounds, YouTube. It does. <laughs> oh, but it gets even worse than that. I introduced Amy to some cradle of filth, and you know what she did? She called him Screamo. Huh? Like, no! Screamo! No! Just no! Screamo of filth! No! They're not Screamo. Danny Filth himself says he wouldn't consider, he doesn't consider cradle of filth to be a specific sound, but generalization, people call it black metal. Okay. She's got a wide variety of taste in music, yeah, but she generally listens, she listens to Bruno Mars and Miley Cyrus. Ew! Okay, just ew! <sighs> Sitting to say all guys are the same. Beige metal. Right, That's a good one. You fucking you figured it out. <sighs> <laughs> what the all guys are pigs congratulations you figured it out Amy you figured it out the answer to life's greatest mystery this goes for both sexes man because there have been some women who have wrecked some lives up and shit <laughs> cause I get so fucking tired of hearing I wanna shit. go to the video where he started dating her let's see here she is <laughs> Oh, yeah, the sound is all bad on it. The sound is horrendous. People were like, oh, she has no teeth. Sicko. Methica's cooking right now. She's doing a cooking stream. Hmm. 
oh shit, Cobra and uh, and Jessica were arguing. And Cobra's like in the chat. They're kind of having like a back and forth. Let me see. Why can't I hear it? Did she mute it? Oh, hey, Voodoo Mama. Yeah, you haven't missed the knife to, you know, release the Allison and all the yummy good stuff. And then I put some lemon wedge up their butt, so. I'll show you. It's still in the oven right now. Oh, you want me to flip the camera, like, so you could see out of the better lens? Is that what you're saying? No, Joshy, you said it to someone when I visited. Don't worry, we're not going to make a fight out of it. Huh? You were just saying a cute little story because you were telling <clears throat> someone else not to give up on looking for a girlfriend. So that's all it was. Okay, whatever. Not nothing interesting. You know, uh, I am unfortunately I am not feeling well, and I'm probably gonna pack it in. Uh, I I w I wanted to stream all night, but I don't think I can do it. I need to go to sleep. I got all kinds of stuff I need to do tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> and I'm feeling like ass. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm probably just gonna go to bed. Um, thanks for helping me get to twenty, almost twenty five percent of the goal. I appreciate it, guys. And I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got DP tomorrow, so I'll see you all then. Have a good one.